हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम बैक वी आर गोइंग टू डू द पार्ट थ्री आई होप यू वॉच ऑलरेडी पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो इन द पार्ट थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्फिगर सम मोर सर्वर एंड इफ यू सी वी कॉन्फिगर द एक्सटर्नल सर्वर हियर एंड वॉट वी विल डू नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू सेंड सम ट्राफिक फ्रॉम आउटसाइड टू इन साइड यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द इन साइड आई विल राइट हियर लाइक पिंग ओके दिस इज़ अ इन साइड द एस आर वी वन फ्रॉम हियर आई एम सेंडिंग सम ट्राफिक टू एक्सटर्नल सर्वर सो दिस आई पी इज़ एक्सटर्नल सर्वर आई पी आई वी राइट हियर वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू डॉट थ्री ओके एंड लेट सी इट इज़ वर्किंग और नॉट वॉट वी नीड टू डू द ट्राफिक इज़ गोइंग फ्राम इन साइड टू आउट साइड द ट्राफिक इज़ गोइंग फ्राम इन साइड टू आउट साइड वी हैव हियर it is not working why it is not working because in the asa firewall we need to have the default route to forward the traffic here okay and also we need uh, this side also some route lan we need two routes here we need to enable some ro routing protocol or we can use different method we can enable the dynamic routing or i can just put the two routing here so let's see here we are unable to ping so we will see how we can fix this one because what i am doing this is a high security level i am sending the traffic from high security level to low security level so why they are not reaching we need to check we need routing because generally if you have imagine in real scenario the outside side will be the internet and we will create the default route saying that if anyone want to go 0.0.0 .0 .0, we will forward all that to the isp network but now in this lab we connected directly so what we can do here why it is not working we need to check so this is a external server here so we need to check this external server is having the ip or not so what i will do i will write here do show ip interface brief so external server is having the ip and we need we need to check do we have here root or not so i will write show ip root if you see we don't have so we forget to create the default route that is a gateway this machine is not having the gateway this machine so traffic will come like this but it will not go back because this machine is not having the gateway so we need to assign this as a gateway that's why it is not working but if you are using some different network here then we need to create the what we can say the default route but we are using the same network for this lab purpose so i think no need to go for the routing now only this external pc is missing the default route so we can create that one and we can test and also you can do one more thing example if you want to enable here you can write debug debug ip icmp okay i enable the debug in this server and from the server one you can send the traffic what is the ip for that one i think 2. Two dot. What is the IP of this server? Two dot two. Okay, I am sending two dot three. And you can go and you can check. If you see here, the traffic is coming. If you see, traffic is coming to this server, but it is dropped because this server don't know. This server is unable to reply because this server is not having the gateway. Okay. so that means this one till here our routing is okay our uh, configuration our configuration is okay traffic is coming from this side to this side but it is not going back because we don't have the gateway so what i will do we need to assign the gateway here so let me first of all disable this one so i will write here you all and then i will go in the global configuration i will write ip root then 0.0.0 then 0.0.0 i will write here 192.168.2.1 now you will ping it will work okay now you can ping it will work see it is working perfectly so we are going from the low security high security level to low security level okay generally this will allow from high to low now if you want to go from low to high it will not work we need to do the acl configuration let me show you i am here in the external server imagine i want to access this server ip i want to ping okay so i will write here ping i will write 192.168.1.2 and ping it will not work because the asa will not allow from low security level to high security level if you want to if you want asa to allow then we need to configure the policy 
generally what we are doing in the Apal Alto or 48 firewall, we are creating one policy to allow the anyone from outside or from particular IP to access this resources. Same thing we need to do here. We can do with the help of ACL. Okay. And also let me power on this device. Another one. This is our uh, server window PC. Imagine this is the PC outside your organization that is in the internet and they want to access your server. This one. Okay. Let me power on this one and I will show you they will unable to access. So we need to create the policy. Okay. We will create one ACL. So with the help of ACL, they can access that one. So let's do that one. It will take some time to boot up this machine. Then we can do the configuration and then our machine will work and they, let's see it will work or not. It will not work. We need to configure the ACL. Then only they can work. Okay. So let's see it is booting up. Okay. Let me check. I think it is boot up or yeah. Password I think test one, two, three capital T. Let's see by default. Yeah. So what I can do now, I need to apply the, I need to configure the IP address here. So I will go here to the LAN card, change the adapter setting. And this is our adapter here. Go and uh, no need for IPv6. We are using IPv4 and assign the IP address here. What IP we wrote here, we will use that one, this one. Okay. So let me go. Where is the configuration? This one I will write here 192.168.2.4. Okay. And the gateway is 192.168.2.1. And DNS we are not having, but anyhow, I will write this 1.1.1 .1 .1 or 8.8.8.8. And then press OK, press OK. And press OK. And now you can. Uh, Cancel this one or minimize this one later and now go to the CMD and check. I will read IC uh, IP config. So I have the IP. I can ping any other PC this one. Just I will check I can access this my own server or not. So I will write here ping 192.168.2.2. Okay. This one I think we configure already. If we did not, then we will check. Destination host unreachable is coming. So maybe we configure the first one. So we will check first one I can access or not because they are in the same outside network. So 2.1 or 2.0. This is not 2.1. 2.1. Okay. So this side what we assigned in the ASA, if you see show interface IP brief is a 1.1 2.1 .1. and this what is the IP of this let me check PC one okay we did not configure anything this should be not 1.1 actually this should be 2.2 okay and PC two should be 2.3 and this should be here we configure or not let me check we configure external server only so this one should be external server we use this here so here i will do this one as a 2.4 okay 2.2 2.3 2.4 .2 and here already so 2.5 let me give this as a 2.5 because 2.4 also i config okay so now example i need to check this external server so i will write here 192 2.3 Okay, so I'm able to ping the external server. I'm pinging from here. And now what I will do, I will uh, go to any browser. Let me go to Chrome. And then I will try to access the port 80, this one. Okay, so I will write here 192.168. Web services I am trying to access. So if you see it came, so it is working. Outside server, this is a outside external server. I am able to access from external site only. I will write here admin and this one also admin. Then we can access. Okay. If you see here, this one we can access. This is a router. This one we configure this router as a server. So we configure this at port 80 and I am accessing from here. It is working perfectly. 
okay this one is working perfectly when i am accessing from external pc1 to external server but i want to access this server one which is internal server i am unable to access that one because whatever inside the organization we cannot access until we have the until we have the policy so if you see here i am able to access okay from external pc external server i can access but i cannot access the internal server how i know let me try this is the internal server ip i will write here 192.168.1.2 okay 192.168.1.2 and i will press it will not work because firewall will not allow firewall will drop the packet here only we need to configure the acl so they can access here it will not work but internally if you have any window pc here you can access internally see it is not working not working okay so we need to do configuration we need to configure the acl saying that one allow this pc to access this server then only it will work meanwhile i will show you one more thing here this is a server one right so i will go to server 2 from server 2 i will try to access what i will do here i will write here enable and if we, i want to access from the what i can say if i want to access from internally then uh, i uh, actually i have if i have any window pc easily i can access and i can show you but if i don't have then we need to configure here telnet so with the help of telnet we can do okay but anyhow no issue if you want what i can do i need to switch off this switch okay I will switch off this switch. What I will do here, I can take one more window PC. Okay, let me take one window PC to show you that. Let me take, okay, this one I will take. I will give here the internal PC. Internal PC, any name you can give and the icon I can change. Okay, this will consume 4 GB of RAM. Okay, if you are having low RAM, then uh you need to increase the ram i will connect this here switch is not having so i will increase the port of the switch here here i will make this as a 2 okay and now i can connect this here and power on the switch then power on this pc this pc i will uh, let me power on it will take some time we need to assign some ip so i can give ip as 1.5 okay 1.4 we use till here so i will give this pc as a 1.5 then we can try to access that services just i want to show you internally we are able to access the server one externally we are unable to access the server one we will configure the acl so you can access the uh, a server one from external site also okay this one i need to show you this pc is still loading till that time if you see the this pc this is a internal uh, external pc it is not working they are trying to access the server one but they cannot okay let me write here if you don't have this images everything try to join our uh, telegram channel we are going to configure you we are going to share all configuration there okay let me open this and then go here network adapter and click click here and go here and we are not using ipv6 ipv4 i will go here i will configure here 192.168 dot what is the ip here we will give here i will give uh, 1.4 i think 5 1.5 and the gateway will be 192.168.1.1 and here we will use this will be 8.8.8 .8 .8 and here will be 1.1.1 ok press ok press ok this one and now we can go to the cmd and i can check here and this one i can cancel i can write here ip config to check the ip address this ip i have 
let me ping the server IP. I will write 192.168.1.2. Server I am able to ping. Okay. And now I will access. I will uh, go to the Chrome or I can go to bro Mozilla any any browser and type this IP. This is a server IP 192.168.1.2. See, you are able to access. They are giving you the login detail. You are able to access from this PC. Okay, directly you are able to access from inside. It is accessible. Okay server one is accessible from inside but if you see from outside it is not accessible so now we need to do some policy or do some acl configuration so it will allow from outside also okay let's do now or i hope this video become lengthy so we will do that in the part four okay this is a part three so we will continue that in the part four how we can configure ACL inside the firewall so it will allow outside PC to access the internal server okay thank you bye we will do 